Aquarius, this is Sammy. This is going to be your reading from today, May 28th until June 4th. I tried to get everyone done for the end of May, but yours is a little bit late. So we're going to look at um, right now Pleiadian messages. This is the Shiji Oracle card deck. I like it a lot. And then we'll get a few oracle cards and then jump into tarot a little bit to see what you guys are going through, what needs to be healed, what lessons you're learning, etc. at this time for your highest good. These messages will not resonate with every Aquarius. Please check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements as well as North Node uh, if you're more focused on your life path and purpose at this time. I ask that our ancestors, angels, higher selves, source creator, and all ET beings who only wish for our highest good would please come forward at this time to give us clear messages and interpretations for the sign of Aquarius from now to June 4th. Thank you, Spirit. Please take a second to like and subscribe. Also, I would really appreciate if you would leave a comment. If any of these cards in this reading helped you or uh, resonated with you, that helps to confirm for other Aquarius as well as for myself. Thank you. Okay. Jumpers, please, for the sign of Aquarius from now till June 4th. Tell us about the sign of Aquarius, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to focus. It doesn't matter because I'm going to read it, but it just takes a second. Anyways, you are God and you can do anything and in becoming human you have taken on the hardest role. Since you are more spiritually advanced than most, you can handle the human experience better than most. The only reason that you cannot go to the highest of realms now is because of the level of consciousness you are vibrating at while in the body computer. You are here to help change this. Okay, Aquarius. So, as you may know, most light workers are here at this time to help transmute and bring in more light to help activate and encourage humanity to raise their consciousness and uh, the consciousness of the planet. So this is about uh, you being here to change things and about uh, so much more than just the material world. And these are the kind of readings that I like to do. So we are spiritual beings. We're in this meat suit for this lifetime and it's just so important that we remember that uh, throughout the hustle and bustle of our daily lives that we have so much more that we're doing that, that we don't realize. Goddess of the Moon, number 52. I really like this card. I've never actually even seen that card. So uh, I'm going to find the booklet for it. There it is. And we're going to read it. For you, Aquarius, goddess of the moon, intuition, and going within. This card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright, reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues and now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you avoided a three hour traffic jam. Or you might have an idea for a great invention a stock investment, or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate 
a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. So it seems as though, Aquarius, you are leveling up. This lunar eclipse that we just had in Sagittarius could have something to do with this. We are in the middle of a portal at this time until June 10th, which is the next eclipse, a solar eclipse. So we're in the middle of this highly spiritual moment where the veil is thinning and you have so much more opportunity to really get in tune with yourself and your path and to hear the messages from your higher guidance. So you may already be witnessing this in your life, seeing synchronicities and symbols, um, you know, running into old friends or people bringing up topics you were just thinking about and Spirit will be guiding you in this way. I'm sorry Aquarius, we got interrupted by my dog. So, we're discussing your intuition being heightened at this time. We're all going through so many shifts with this lunar eclipse that we just had. And um, for Aquarius and Aquarius rising, that would be more so in your 11th house. So that's the house of society and friends, um, social media, networking. Um, so you may be having shifts in who you want to be around, letting go of toxic friendships and discovering more so a new group of friends, perhaps. Um, but Sagittarius shows us new paths and new truths. Let's see. For an Angels and Ancestors card for Aquarius from now to June 4th, please, Spirit. We'll take this one. Unlock the magic within. So many got this for the end of May reading. So this is about acknowledging magic with a K. The spirit of the universe, the creator within, that you are a spark of the divine and that you can have anything that you wish for. Let's get a wisdom of the oracle. Please tell me about Aquarius spirit from now to June 4th. Jumpers, please, for the sign of Aquarius. So you guys are really being activated, I feel. Um, and in order to, wow, between worlds. Number three, which is representative of the Trinity and um, coming together, change, collaboration possibly, and this is hitting on what I was just talking about, possibly with your friendships, the people in your life. Feeling between worlds is like kind of recognizing that you're in a place that, um, you know, maybe you're leaving some people behind, or a career, and it hurts, it's painful. And you're very reliant on your intuition at this time. You knew it just wasn't it just wasn't a good spot for you, you know, or those people just weren't weren't really on your level anymore because you seem to be leveling up. Definitely use this time wisely between now and the time. You can get so much spiritual work done, so much progression done as far as your ascension uh, phases and and leveling up at this time, the door is wide open for you to do so. This is a Starseed Oracle deck. Please tell me about Aquarius from now to the 4th of June. Thank you, Spirit. What is Aquarius working on? What are they doing from now till June 4th? Do 
You may also be noticing um, changes in in uh, more of like a mental process of how you think about romance and love. If you're wanting to attract new romance or love, and also focusing more on your hobbies and passions, um, that would be your fifth house, Gemini aspects. Maybe you guys are deciding that not only your friends, but the, the kind of relationships that you want are different. And you don't want to waste your time on anybody anymore uh, who's not on your level. I think for a long time, uh, many of us have just settled on, on what it is that we think we deserve or like what we actually believe is possible because we've been hurt so many times and you know many of us are cynics about love. We're going to take these, the courageous peony, <laughs> peony, peony, I don't know how to say that. Anyways, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. Definitely with your 11th house being aspected, that is about society, friends, like I mentioned, networking, going out. So you may be feeling more adventurous at this time as far as wanting to meet new people and seeing what else is out there. But as well, we have deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing at this time. Definitely. And I think that plays into having to leave people or situations behind, knowing that you deserve better, knowing now, like fully recognizing. I don't know why I'm picking up on this for you guys. Just like fully recognizing that what you want is possible. It is out there. And that maybe for such a long time you had just been settling. You know, or just like taking whatever comes in, taking whatever you felt was in your vicinity. Like, well, I guess this is all we got, so. <laughs> but that's not all that exists. When you open that door, like you let go of that resistance, that block, the, firstly, there's emotional blocks being dealt with here. Okay, but as you open up more to your intuition and the magic that you have within, you are moving in towards this new world here. I mean, you're definitely letting go. It's like a crumbling of, of an older way of doing things or an old mindset. So let's get some tarot. I definitely like how all this feels for you because I feel like you got a good head on your shoulders. You're in the right space spiritually, relying on your intuition, relying on any kind of higher guidance or knowledge, whatever that means for you. You've already come to the conclusions that things weren't working and it needed to be dealt with because you're in this place of shifting and it may be uncomfortable still at this time and you can't really see the full outcome yet of the changes you're making, but you know that's the right direction. And so you've already begun moving in that way. Tell me about Aquarius, please, Spirit. From now until the 4th of June, got one. Ooh, wish fulfillment. I believe this for you guys. Moving in this direction or just deciding what it is for you at this time. What does that look like? Uh, if you were to make a wish, you know, for your future or for a partner or for a career path, what is it that you would choose? We have two of cups on the bottom, so perhaps love is on your mind right now, Aquarius. I mean, you got fifth house energy being aspected, king of pentacles. It's about stability. You know, you want to be grounded, but this could be a business partner. This could be a businessman uh, coming in your life, entering the scene, or you leveling up in this way where you just feel very comfortable where you are financially. Okay, or this is this could be, if this is you trying to attract a soulmate, this is the type that you would want. Which would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Earth signs. Very grounded, very smart, strategic, 
they're stable, you know, and secure, not only financially, but just in who they are and emotionally. They're kind of like no nonsense, you know, if you think about a Capricorn or a Virgo, they like things done a certain way. They're very hardworking. So this is either your energy or someone that you're trying to attract. I feel that this could be what you feel is your wish fulfillment. You could already know this King of Pentacles. Look, High Priestess on the bottom. Goddess of the Moon. That's you. High Priestess, Goddess of the Moon. This is you using your intuition. Oh, these dogs. Please forgive these dogs, okay? We're going through shifts in my home. The Fool, definitely wanting to start something brand new. This is so exciting because I feel like you've leveled up, Aquarius. Like, you've decided exactly what you want. I feel like Spirit is saying, you know exactly what you want. And you're optimistic about it being a possibility, which is the first step. Like, you have to know that that's there for you. Do you know what I mean? Like, so many people just feel like, oh, well, what I can't... I can't have what what it is that I really want or the love that I want doesn't exist. And that's not your energy here. It's like you're fully reliant on spirit and the universe and on your magic within your your ability to manifest at this time while doing this deep cellular healing. It's like all wrapped up into one. It's like you know you can have what you want and and you're moving towards this wish fulfillment, the world, anything you want. I mean, these are really great cards. I feel that as long as you stay in this optimistic energy and like get excited about it, the fool is Aries energy. It's like, yeah, let's jump into something. Let's take action towards something that we want to create. And it's just, sometimes the fool can be a little bit naive, but that's like the innocence of it. Okay, so we have the tower here. We just had the world card. So something probably ended and I feel that you've you've gotten closure from it. Okay, so the tower could be something positive here. It could be somebody coming in or this could be the situation that ended. Either way, it could be something shocking or surprising, or something that kind of brings in this uh, shaking energy for you where you recognize that you wanted to move forward. So... Whatever came in for you, whatever happened that made you realize like, wow, I need to leave this toxicity behind. I need to move forward. You know, with this between worlds, it's like this flamingo goes from black and white into color. It's like you can see now the, the crap maybe, you know, the shit you were holding on to that you thought was great. You know, so many times we don't realize it until we move past it. Like, wow, that was really a shitty situation. And at the time I thought it was fine, you know, and I was perfectly willing to deal with the crap. And then once you're out of it, you realize how much better things can be. So the tower always brings positive change in the end. It's always going to be good in the end. It may be hard. It may be scary. It may... Uh, crumble your world for a time but ultimately it's good so with this being a uh, four of Pentacles on the bottom this tower moment could have come in this could have been in the past or this could be somebody coming in in the future either way it shakes up your world okay or it has already but I feel that your energy is very positive so if this comes in I feel this would be a very positive tower for you on the bottom we have Four of Pentacles, so this could be talking about this tower moment if for some of you it was in the past, okay? Maybe you had some security issues or the person you were dealing with had some sort of insecurity or to where they were trying to hold on to something or you were trying to hold on to something that wasn't really positive for you. If this is about money, this could be somebody uh, who is very frugal, who pinches every penny and, and stresses and worries about money. No, and I don't feel that that's you. I feel you're moving into this energy where everything is great. Like you want a new beginning. You want to trust this person or yourself to have the stability and security that you need moving forward. And that is your wish fulfillment. That is your dream come true. So this tower could be... I just like to touch on these cards on the bottom because it plays into other little details and, and sometimes that's exactly what you need. Not everyone, but that's what helps things to resonate is the smaller details. So with this card is like a, a foundation card and it could be money. It's, this could be talking about 
already having a firm foundation, okay, someone coming in that wants to build with you, who already comes in and brings something to the table, okay, and on other aspects in, in a more uh, emotional state, this card could be about control or about insecurity, okay, when someone um, clings too tightly to something or like afraid to lose it and then what happens like you end up losing it right um, if someone smothered you that type of energy or this is just about someone who's insecure and and has a mentality of lack so that's not your energy you're you're very positive in the way that you're manifesting for your future if this was a tower moment this could have been something you were dealing with in the past that's not for everybody that's just for some of you Okay, and when you're coming in with this energy that's very high vibrational and you want to manifest the best possible life filled with abundance and love and brand new adventure, obviously that's not an equal match if somebody is focused on lack. Please excuse the background noise. My kids are home because it's summer and we've got new dog situations happening here. This was trying to jump out. This is the Six of Swords. This is about a transition. And I really believe that this is what you're doing here. So this is a major transition for you. And I feel that it's more emotional than anything. It's more about a mental decision that you've made to move forward in a whole new way. It's like you're ready to step into this new world. You've done healing. You're still doing healing. And you're like coming out of your shell. You're wanting to meet new people. And you're fully reliant on your intuition. So this is like a rite of passage. This is a transformation. And this is moving to calmer waters. This is recognizing that the place that you were wasn't very comfortable. Or it wasn't the best that could have been. This is a mental energy. So this could be having a few regrets or, or remorse about what you're having to leave behind. It's sad and it's hard, but you know things look better for you where you're headed. So despite the pain, you're doing it anyway. Thank you, Spirit. Let's do three shuffles and see what else we have for Aquarius. Tell me about the future for Aquarius. What do we have coming in towards June 4th? What is the future outcome of this situation for Aquarius? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three of Swords. So some of you have been dealing with the heartbreak or you will be dealing with the heartbreak uh, by the end of June 4th. Um, some of you know that this needs to end, and some of you perhaps were avoiding a tower moment if this hasn't already happened, okay? Sometimes the way that time works here um, on the earth plane, it doesn't exactly match up with dates. You know if you've already been in this energy and you've already um, still processing but already begun this process of heartache, and you know if it's something that is coming up for you in the future. We do have five of wands on the bottom, which is about conflict. This could be your own mental conflict, going back and forth about the life you want and the life, you know, that you're actually having to leave behind because they don't match. It's not what you wanted. You're moving in a more higher vibrational direction. You've done healing. You're ready to let go of that old world. And it is hard in whatever relationship or career path or whatever you've gone through, had a bunch of conflict and chaos and I think that helped to push you out of it knowing it was toxic or knowing it wasn't for you because you've changed you've leveled up you're ready for a new beginning and you want something that's more stable and secure and something that's more emotional fulfilling nine of cups is also your own emotional fulfillment independently whether someone's there with you or not I could say the same for this king of Pentacles energy this is like a husband type energy, but you don't have to have that. You know what I'm saying? You, this could be you. This could be your own energy where you're emotionally fulfilled on your own. You're independent. You got your, your chippies right. You got your money stacked and you're feeling optimistic about whatever comes in for you next. And that is the ultimate attitude to have and vibration to be in when it comes to manifesting that type of person or soulmate energy. If that's what you're looking to do, for some of you, this could have been career, this could be the whole friendship scene thing that I was talking about, or this could have been a relationship. 
Um, so, obviously, there was some sort of heartbreak here, or there is going to be some sort of heartbreak. But it is for your highest good. It is because you know you need to be in a better, more positive direction. And so, it's just about making those changes and following through so you don't end up going back to that place you know where you weren't as happy what is the advice well ooh, victory victory and success this is a wedding card um so for some of you you're getting public recognition you're getting credit for something this could be at your job um this could be more so in a relationship like getting being rewarded um with a positive relationship but i feel that you'll be happier i feel like spirit is saying you're going to be happier coming out of this place of heartbreak because you know it's what's best for you on the bottom we have seven of swords in reverse it's possible that you didn't trust this person or that they betrayed you it's possible that this person um lied or was a cheat or whatever but i really feel because it's in reverse this could have been you stalling like for a while just avoiding leaving it um because this can be an energy of like running away from your problems. So because it's in reverse, it makes me feel like possibly for some time you had been avoiding leaving, even though you knew it wasn't for you or you knew that you were supposed to be somewhere much more positive. You're doing it now. And so spirit is saying, even though it hurts, you will be rewarded because it seems like you put it off for a while like waiting, you know, sometimes we're like, give me a sign. And Spirit's like, I'm giving you every sign possible and you're still not leaving. You know, sometimes with Aquarius, it's just this mental energy. It's like, I know I need to be somewhere better, but it's gonna, it's gonna really hurt to do it. So I feel that Spirit is saying, keep this positive energy up, keep this uh, wish fulfillment and this manifesting, this following your intuition and your guidance, do the deep inner healing, the work that you've already done, continue to do that. You will be rewarded, although that it's painful and um, some of you may be suffering internally, you know, and mentally. You're headed towards a better place. Advice for Aquarius. The Spirit is saying, look to the future. Keep, keep going where you're going. Keep heading in that direction because it's better for you, you which you already know. But Spirit is saying, you will be blessed. Okay, you will be getting the good stuff. New opportunities come in. This is your advice, okay? Any opportunity that comes in for you, say yes. Have you ever seen the movie Yes Man? You know, sometimes he gets in trouble for saying yes. Sometimes it brings crazy situations into his life. But ultimately, he's happy that he did it because he has way more experiences. And you don't want to miss out on an opportunity that could be amazing. So, overall, Aquarius... This could be your energy. This is the second time I saw this on the bottom, Queen of Pentacles. So this could be your energy, very motherly, very nurturing. Um, you got your abundance right. You care for others. Very generous energy. And you could just be calling in this husband figure. That is for the ladies that are watching. But it doesn't have to be um, strictly female energy. This could be a mother. This could be, you know, affecting your mother. Or this could just be your energy looking for your equal match. And I feel that you're calling it in and you're optimistic about it. So this is the energy that you need to stay in. Let's see what lessons you're learning at this time. You are definitely heading into a more positive direction. You've got your mind right as far as vibrationally where you need to be to attract the highest good for yourself. You've got new opportunities coming in and Spirit is saying you will be blessed. Okay, you will be rewarded. So let's see. What are the lessons that Aquarius is learning at this time? Okay, I'm just going to do it because when I tried to put it away, Spirit was like, no, read that one too. So worry. Okay, and... And that's for all air signs, okay? You all think too much. You're way up in your head. So that just, that takes time. And you've got to be the one to say, no, stop thinking, you know, like 
bring yourself back, reel yourself in when you start thinking too much, worry. So this is a lesson that you're learning. So let go of this behavior. And I feel that you are. I mean, really, your energy is very positive here. So despite what you've been through or what you'll be going through, you know you're headed in a more positive direction. You got nothing to worry about. You're already doing the work. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. So your affirmation for this is, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So you might want to say that three times. Or when you start to worry, remind yourself, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It definitely doesn't. It doesn't help anything to sit there and think about it. Blame also popped out. So these won't resonate with all of you, but for some of you they will, or hopefully this resonates in some way, maybe someone that you're dealing with. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I accept responsibility for my well-being, right? And this makes me think of kind of a codependent energy where someone would stay somewhere and continue to blame the relationship or the other person or the situation knowing it wasn't good for them, you know, knowing that they should have moved on. And that is your responsibility, your well-being. That's why that card is so awesome and true. Okay, surrender. I can release my need to control. Remember that four of pentacles I was showing you? That's that sort of energy here. I can release my need to control because you can't control everything, but you can control your vibration and what you manifest in your thoughts. I can release my need to control. So surrender is going to be huge for you. Try not to blame others. Try to acknowledge when you are doing that. And that is really um, what Eckhart Tolle would call being the observer. And that is where you can stop those negative thoughts. And then worry. Obviously, we don't want to worry. So this is the last one. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So... Despite what you've gone through, whether you've dealt with a toxic relationship or somebody betraying you, whatever you think that it is, okay, friendship, family, doesn't matter. Could have been your boss or a coworker. You can't fully rely and trust that everyone will be honest with you, okay, but you can be honest with yourself, and I feel that you're doing that. I feel these are the lessons that you're learning because you're leaving this behind. You've already decided this isn't good for you and you're moving into a new phase now. So let's do an angel guidance and then we'll close this out. Please give us a guidance card from the angels for Aquarius from now till June 4th. What is the guidance from the angels for Aquarius? Ooh, thank you. Trustworthy guidance. So this man is like writing up. He's writing some sort of important document, and there's an angel on his shoulder telling him what to write. Trustworthy guidance, you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we're with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So for some of you, you know you're on to something. Okay, so you definitely want to follow that intuition, that gut instinct. For others of you, you just know, despite what your friends and family say, despite whoever you're in a relationship with, whatever they say, you already know. Like this reading is so confirming that you already know you're leaving this behind now. You're definitely moving in the new direction, despite whether you can see it or not. Despite whether you know where you're going to be a year from now, five years from now, you know it's got to be better than where you were. 
So kudos to you, Aquarius. Amazing. You're doing it. Uh, even though it's hard and it hurts, you're making the changes. So awesome. Very proud of you, Aquarius. Keep it up. And uh, please like and subscribe. Please share this video if you know an Aquarius that it would resonate with or maybe someone that it could help. And I will see you guys in the next one.